Howdy my dudes, how are you all doing today? So today I want to show you how I printed out the Oni Mask. This actually took around two months to complete, especially because I can't 3D design for anything. So before we can get into the 3D printing part, I'm going to show you how I actually got the file for the mask. So first I went on Steam and I downloaded Source Filmmaker. Then you go on the Steam Workshop and download the Oni model from Cozy Chicken. Great content creator, really give him a follow. Then you go over and download Blender. I don't use Blender and I have no idea how to use Blender. Then you're gonna look up Blender Source Tools. Source Tools for SFM and Blender. Then you're gonna open up Blender, go into File, Import, go to Source Engine Assets, Source, you go to Windows, you go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker, Game, Workshop, Models, Cozy Chicken in this case, Dead by Daylight, you go to Slashers, and we're gonna pick Oni number one. Import. And there he is. And all his, oh my god. Yeah, we're just gonna delete everything that isn't the mask. Just get rid of all of it. And voila, we're only left with the mask, but we can't import it like this because it's just a file. So we're gonna tamper with it by adding a modifier, Solidify. You know, bust that open. You're gonna add a couple of thickness. Then we're gonna add multi-resolution and subdivide that. I subdivided it by at least four or five. It should look like the plague puked on it. And now we're just gonna export it. Export it as an STL. And I already have this, so it doesn't matter. Now we open it. And voila. Look at it. Beautiful. But it doesn't have any eye holes, and the back part is still kind of messy. So now we're gonna open the file in Mesh Mixer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it wearable. We're gonna click the Select tool, and then start selecting the areas we wanna delete. So we wanna delete all the edges. We're also gonna delete the eye holes that we can see through. We're gonna edit and discard. Yikes! I'm gonna have to take my time with this. This process is a bit long and tedious, so we're just gonna skip. Also using Mesh Mixer, we're gonna divide it into a bunch of pieces and then export it into an SD card. And now we print. So now that we have every individual piece printed out, we're gonna try to glue them as accurately as possible. Looks like the printer made a fucky wacky <laughs> oopsie doopsie. That's alright, we can just sand that off real quick. So if you're like me, you're probably stupid. So what I do is I mark all of the divisions so that I know where to glue them together. And it's done. Damn, it looks so beautiful. I wish I could put my life together like this. God, my life is in shambles. Please, this is a cry for help. God damn. Ah! So now we're gonna use dry decks to fill up any cracks and divisions that the mask had. Goddamn gloves. Now we're gonna lay it on nice and thick. I'm gonna use a lot because I'm gonna use water to dissolve the excess and it just leave the nice little filler on. So now we're gonna try to apply as much as possible to the biggest mess up of the print. And that should do it, yeah, good enough. So after washing it, it's all looking good, it's all pretty good. So now we're gonna use a soldering iron to, I guess, solder more filament onto the cracks and make it resistant. Don't get it close to your nips, cause <laughs> let me tell you, it's not a good idea. So now that we welded the mask in the back, it's looking pretty sturdy. But not sturdy enough! So now we're gonna apply JB Quick. This is gonna create a really nice hard shell, and it's gonna protect it from getting cracked open again. Just gotta get a little more out of there. Yeah! More! MORE! So now using a rotary tool, we're gonna even out a lot of the edges from the gluing part. Cause like I said, I'm stupid, my hands are shaking, my palms are sweaty, mom's spaghetti, and BAM! Nice, clean edges. This is gonna help a lot once we apply the next step. Spot putty. Just get it all over that. Everywhere. Every nook and cranny. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that looks alright. That looks passable, right? Yeah? Alright. Sanding. 
we everybody loves sanding in this town. You know, sanding wouldn't be so bad if it didn't take so long. So after sanding for 50 years, you're gonna apply a 2-in-1 filler primer. So now it's time to waterboard the masses if you're asking Lebowski where the money is. <laughs> Better rip off those sandpapers because we're gonna start sanding again! Woo! Wet sanding! Hey! So now we're gonna end up with something a little on like this. So I drew the lines for all the details. My mom says I'm too good for art school, but what the hell does she know? They're using our handy dandy soldering iron. We're gonna carve all those details in. Well, that was a colossal fuck-up. So I gave up on the soldering iron and decided to use the rotary tool with a different head. And... Better results. Not gonna lie. Now we're gonna deal with the horns and we're gonna carve in all of the details because of course the goddamn file doesn't come with the details. And so I did the same with the mask. Really give it that wooden texture, you know? I think it came out pretty nice. Because it doesn't have to be perfect. Because that's what Oni's Mask is really about, actually. So now we're gonna use whatever the hell this thing is! Please don't ask me in the comments because not even I know how to use it. Whee! So for the first layer of paint, we're gonna use a nice clear brown. Just to give it that underlying texture that it is made out of wood. So now we're gonna mix together a nice red and yellow to get a clearer red, slightly orange red. So now we're gonna paint it a nice bone. Apply that bone paint, bone flavor. <laughs> bone. And of course, the same type of paint for the teeth, because Oni hasn't brushed his teeth in a long time. My guy, you need braces. So now we're gonna paint in the details using a nice black. And <laughs> I use way too fucking much. But art is an expression. Now using the same black paint and some water to dilute it, we're going to paint in the details and the shading. Oni's a dirty dude. He's been living what? 10 years? A hundred years? 10,000 years? Dude's been alive for a long time, so his mask is taking a lot of beatings. Especially from these goddamn survivors. I really wanted to give it a lot of shading because I know that in the game the red is very vibrant, but it just doesn't translate well into real life. Because in reality, this mask would be dark. Very dark. You can barely see the red. I'm keeping the red, but I'm just darkening it a little bit. And now to seal it all together, we're gonna use some clear gloss mud Pudge. So for the horns, I decided to make them detachable by adding two magnets, two on the head, and two individuals inside the horns. They fit like a glove. And it's pretty sturdy, hasn't fallen off. Pretty good. Now we're gonna add the final piece, the third eye. So now we're gonna add some red lights to the eyes and some cloth so it doesn't have much glare. Then we're gonna hide all the wires by using a bunch of padding so it fits nice and snug on my face. But the mask can't be completed without the wig. So we're gonna take this bland white wig and give it some volume. We're gonna curl it up and then give it some heat so they can maintain that shape. And then we're gonna use a lot of hairspray so it can stay up and wavy like the gorgeous L'Oreal bitch he is.
Well guys, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Honestly, this entire experience has been fantastic. I'm really proud of how it came out. I know I've taken a long time to make more content. And sadly, I'm still stuck in console, which is where I have everything right now. And console isn't really in a good state right now for me to keep making more content. It's laggy, it's buggy, it's horrible. Also stick around because I will make a part two making the rest of the cosplay. So thank you all for sticking with me and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.